Hi guys, so today I'm doing a bit of a different video from all my other videos. You need a weapon. I think if, say, zombie apocalypse, um, to keep the hordes back, you probably need a battering ram or if you want to get into somewhere. So today I will be making a makeshift battering ram. Okay, so here's how you build it and what materials you'll need. Nails. Or is, say, that is everything you'll need. So this is the piece of wood we cut. Um, I would probably recommend, this is, if you stretch your arms out, you should be able to hold it with your arms stretched out. Um, so you should be able to hold it um, horizontal like this with your arms stretched out. That's probably the size I would recommend, but if you find smaller size um, or a bigger size, or if you're making it for, um, like say a two or three person ram, you're probably gonna want quite a much wider piece than this and a much longer piece. Um, but whatever is your preference, it's true. hand tools or don't make a weapon at all so um, I have my gloves on my glasses on so at the moment so now we're gonna do um, a test against this plywood obviously bone and this is obviously for shattering skulls and bone not definitely not a puncturing or slicing weapon because um, it has no edges on it so I'm going to show you some of the ways I would use it. So this plywood is actually um, turning out to be quite tough against this weapon. Um, so I'm going to give it everything, all the force I have. And I'm just going to slam it straight into this. Okay guys, so that's the build um, video finished. Um, Honestly, this is a, a good weapon for sort of crowd control. Someone gets up too close, uh, just hit them in the face. Probably, I'd say, it, I wouldn't honestly use this. Although ours could have had storage, um, could have had straps. You can easily carry it like this, but eventually you're gonna get tired of swinging this over and over again. It, I think if we had used other types of wood for the test it might have broken through them overall it's an okay weapon if you're strong enough to use it it's overall a good weapon so thanks for watching guys and i'll see you in the next video